Hundreds packed Isotopes Ballpark to say goodbye to a servant of New Mexico and the United States. Pete Domenici, former U.S. Senator, died earlier this week. News 13's Ryan Martin was at the public memorial as New Mexicans paid their respects to a man who leaves behind a tremendous legacy. Ryan. Madeline, it truly was a celebration of life, and anyone familiar with Pete Domenici knows the choice of venue today was perfect. The former senator's favorite sport and one he excelled at was baseball. Take me out to the ball game. The tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, the sights of Peanuts and Cracker Jacks, and a home team ovation for the family. It was a fitting send off for Pete Domenici. As much as my father loved baseball, it was his passion, and in a way, it was an analogy for his life to always strive to be the best, to be competitive to enjoy the game, the teamwork. The former Republican U.S. Senators and standout baseball pitchers celebration of life welcomed the biggest names in New Mexico to pay their respects to the Senator's family. We will never be able to thank you enough for sharing this amazing human being with the rest of New Mexico and the rest of the country. Others reflected on his influence in their service. I wanted to be a public servant after watching Pete Domenici. He was our example, he was a great example, and he was a model public servant. Many wiped away tears at the legacy he leaves behind, which includes bipartisan efforts to balance the federal budget and bring jobs to the state. His children remembering their father's impact on New Mexico and the country. And then my dad taught me, take all that compassion and all that passion and try to make big, big change to change things for the better for large swaths of our population. The former senator's family, grateful to the people he served for standing by their father for over 30 years. We want to thank New Mexicans for supporting him, letting him live the life he wanted, the life that really I think he was born for. Among those who spoke was Congressman Steve Pierce calling Domenici the guy who always fought for what's right. Madeline, back to you. Okay, thank you, Ryan. One of Domenici's daughters added that her father was always a humble man, including wearing loafers he bought at Sears. A group making its first appearance.